Hello guys, uh, welcome to my first lesson. Okay, so, uh, you know, first of all, thank you for being here. And I'm going to show you in this first class how we can set up our Playmaker inside Unity. So I'm uh, thinking you already have Unity or you installed, and if you haven't, you just go to here, you know, 3D.com. And, you know, you can like uh, get a free version. You can say get Unity. Unity is free all the way, you know. And if you want a uh, plus version, this is for like when you, especially like when you have a splash screen in your mobile phone or like, you know, uh, you can have your company logo in the opening. But if you have the personal free edition, you will have, uh, you know, you will see created with Unity, made with Unity kind of opening splash screen, okay? So you don't need any of these for now because you are, if you are a learner or a student and you say try personal and then you will go, it will take you to the downloads page and it's very easy to set up. And I'm working on a Mac, but it's still, you know, everything here can be applied inside. If you have a PC, it's going to be the same. So I'm going to create a new project for now. And so we'll wait. And I'm going to name my project. I'm going to say uh, Playmaker, Playmaker, let's say Playmaker Actions. Okay, so let's say Playmaker Actions. And I'm going to select this organization. This is what I use. And I will say create project. So this is going to open Unity and uh, land us wait a while. It's like saying calculating, blah, 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 you know. Uh, the thing I love about Unity, it is very stable uh, game engine. You know, I, I actually used like other game engines before, and but this is like the most stable and the uh, most how can I say, uh, optimized, I can say, when you have a gameplay in your mobile or in your PC, whatever, you know, it's very, very nice. So this is your, like, main screen inside Unity. Uh, I will go uh, on it. I will go around to show you a little bit what's going on here. So don't worry when you see this, okay? Uh, this is the name of our project, and this is, like, where you set up your services and things. And this inspector is, the like, when you select your camera, then you see you see like the options and this is your lighting this is like the directional light I'm not gonna go too deep this is your animation where you have like object you create animations and things this is when you see what's going on during the <clears throat> if you compile the project and things if you have an error you see it all here so this is your project this is where all your files so let me go ahead and save the scene uh, save scene as uh, let's go always save your scene okay this is a good start scene okay so this is in my camera and uh, if I create a game object this is where I create I say let's say cube and where, yeah do you see this is the cube so this is your game area if you press play this is where you will play the game so I go in with my camera set up things all right so this is how I do it now uh, one thing we don't have is playmaker and how do you get it you go to asset store and uh, so I'll go over it while, while it's downloading. Okay, let me show you. And I hope it's going to open. Let's wait a while. You can fast forward here if you are bored, you know. I'm not gonna like, so I'm gonna search for Playmaker. It was like around $65. Yeah, for if you are pro, you will have 52, actually $65 if you are using a free version. And because I purchased this, I'm gonna. I I have this import, all right. We will have here like uh, add to cart or something like that. And but this is like really really worth it. I mean, this you pay only one time, and you have this unbelievable state machine. I love it. You know, I just love making games with it. Okay, and I'll say import, and you will say import, and then let's wait a while. And okay, that's cool. That's cool. So and here you when you have this menu, this pop-up menu, you will say install Playmaker and it's install 1.9, whatever. You know, this might change when you are watching this thing. You will say import. And we are almost ready to go. I mean the things in Unity are so straightforward, you won't believe it. I mean it's so easy. 
like creating things and scenes, environments and gaming, you know, you I'll, I'll just take you around and you'll see what's going on. So you can like, by watching this tutorials, you can start making your own small creations and things. Okay. So sorry about waiting you guys. And while we are doing this, let me go ahead and show you something. Uh, this is like their uh, web page, Hutton Games. And so, by the way, I'm not related anyway to Playmaker or Hutton Games. I'm just someone who loves making games. I have my uh, app store, my publishing in both iOS and iTunes and Google Play, you know, whatever. And, you know, if you search for Volkan Kutluba, you can see my games here, there. And so, like, this is the place where you can find extra stuff like plugins or other things. And one thing we will need is we will go to add-ons on Wiki. And we will need this ecosystem browser. This is where you get, like, the extra things that are not coming with uh, your Playmaker. So, we will say download package here. And we'll wait for the download here. And another thing you will need is we will need we will we need to wait for this to install first. I'm going to show you. There's a thing called iTwin, which is very very important. Like it's uh, it makes you uh, it helps you to make like great animations without trying to animate. You know it's very very easy and lovely tool. I use it a lot. And uh, so this is my cube here still. I cannot select because this is the game thing. So I have Playmaker, and so I'm going to open this. I'm going to replace it here, all right? And so this is where you will create your nodes and things. You will create your state machines, and you will have your action browser. So here we go. And this is your actions, like if you say, like, rotate, you can rotate your character, you can move, move towards or whatever, you know, and you can, like, search things, or you can go manually, like, physics things, and uh, how can I say, like, physics, you have add force, add torque, everything here. These are the things, like, like, almost everything that you can make a game using this, okay? Very, very cool. No coding, no programming. Very nice. All is your imagination and your patience and your design. All right. So we have it here. And yeah, this is downloaded. All you got to do is you just say show in Finder. And if you double click this, come on. If you double click this, it will start importing it. And so let's go, let's go. Yeah, I made a backup. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very, very easy and st so straightforward thing. Uh, making a backup is important because sometimes things can be broken in Unity, like just like that, you know, you never know. Uh, but it's not a common thing, uh, so don't worry too much. But still make backup, you know, just in case. So you, you know, make a good night's sleep without thinking anything, okay? You know, I make a habit making backup. Okay, so it's not there yet. So uh, we have this Playmaker, and let me show you the ecosystem browser. You go right here, ecosystem browser, and you open it up, you say use ecosystem. So this is a place where all the users like me, like uh, add their add-ons, plugins, so you can take things from here, add it up here, let's say if you say like, camera and let's say yeah you see these are all things that are cre you can do with camera things so move towards there was something okay anyway i'm going to come to this later on uh, so this is it one more thing is like uh, there was a thing called itwin it was coming with playmaker before as far as i remember but now it's not coming so this is where your Playmaker is installed. So you see, in Unity, everything is under this Assets folder. And this is actually, if you go to your Users, and you go to, you see, this is my name of the project, Playmaker Actions. So this is the same folder as my thing. So you can like copy and paste things in here. If you want to use like a 3D model or anything, you just copy and paste, you create a folder here. It's created right here at the same time. You don't need to worry about it. It's very, very cool, you know. And uh, so one more thing, okay, play you iTwin. All right, what is iTwin? I will show you what it is. So I made a backup on my desktop actually here. So every time I create my game, I take it up from here. 
I go to iTwin. First, this is the plugin, and this is the iTwin, uh, how can I say, Playmaker Action. So iTwin is the plugin. I copy, I'm going to give you these, by the way. iTwin, I copy this, and I come, yeah, right here, and was it under the plugins? No, I'm not under the plugins. I'm going to, yeah, here we go. Should be it. I'm not sure. No, it's not. It's, it's right up here. Yeah, this is iTwin. And uh, I'm going to... Here we go. I'm going to iTwin Actions under Playmaker here. And I'm going to copy here. Okay. Yeah, is it? No, I'm sorry. This is right up here. I'm sorry, guys. You need to go... Uh, assets. I'm going to... Not this one, not this one, sorry guys. I'm going to go to under Playmaker and I'm going to go under Actions and I'm going to paste right here, okay? So, now it's going to compile, you see? So, let's wait. Is it? Okay, now we have iTwin, you see, you see we have all these iTwin actions. So what is iTwin? Let me show you very, very simply. And if I like create an FSM here, and I say iTwin, uh, let's say what is, I hope this is going to work. I, I haven't used it for a long time. iTwin Moo. And if I say iTwin Moo, uh, yeah, vector position. So in X, Okay, I want this to move in X position, you see. As I move, this is like changing. So I'm going to move this to like five, okay. And let's see if it's going to work. Yeah, it's it's going okay. You see, it's moved in, it moved to the five. So this is like, if you want to make it to move five, you say five, okay? So you just put it in right in the start. And how about if I want to like move it backwards and forwards? So let's say this is an, an enemy. You are you are playing a platformer. You want the enemy go like right and left. So this is, and what you do is uh, you go, where is this? Uh, East type, loop type, here we go, we say ping pong, so ping pong is like going back and forth, as you might imagine. So, and here we go, boom, 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 you see, and you can like change things in real time. If I say 0 0.1, and uh, can we? Maybe this one, speed. Okay, this is not working in real time, sorry guys. So I'm going to say, if I say 0 0.2, normally Playmaker actions work real time, but this i2 didn't work. Yeah, now you see it's like uh, moving like 0 0.2 of one second, okay? And if I may, were to make this like five, so this is going to take it like five seconds to come uh, right up there. You see, now it's easy. Yeah, so boring. Okay, anyway, so this is about it, guys. This is like the Playmaker, and I show you the ecosystem browser and things. So this is like Unity. And, you know, that's about it. Okay, so let's start making some cool things. I'm not going to show you just Playmaker. Also, you will see like how other things can be created, like materials, your lighting and thing and everything. All right, the backgrounds. So let's start with it. Thank you for uh, joining in and see you in the next class. Bye.